हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दिस थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट वन इज ए इफ स्टेटमेंट सेकेंड वन इज अ फॉर लूप एंड थर्ड वन इज अ वाइल लूफ सो थेरी अबाउट दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स वी हैव कवर्ड सो नाउ टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू वर्क इफ स्टेटमेंट हाउ एंड हाउ द फॉर लूप एंड वाइल लूप विल वर्क सो लेट एस स्टार्ट सो वट इज द सिंटैक्स ऑफ इफ स्टेटमेंट सो वी नीड टू राइट इफ इन अ स्मॉल केस देन देर इज अ कंडीशन so you need to write condition after condition is over you need to write this colon colon indicate it is a compound statement and the following statements are the part of this if statement suppose i have written here statement 1 and statement 2 see here so he if is here and i have written statement little bit inside so see here i have written these statements little bit inside after the if statement it is called as a indentation it is called as a indent indent means uh, when there is a compound statement it may be if statement it may be for loop or it may be while loop what are the parts or what are the statements comes under these uh, conditional statements that should be written in little bit inside the that particular keyword so let us take one example of uh, if statement for example suppose there are two numbers a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and i want to check which number is max so i have written if a is greater than b colon uh, print a is a max and suppose uh, for b we can write simple else colon print b is a max so b is a max and a is a max let us see how it works so see value of a is a 10 value of b is a 20 so here the condition comes like that 10 is greater than 20 now the, the this condition is false that's why it directly jumps to else part so in case of else it will print b is a max so what is the output of this output so it will print 20 is a max it will print 20 is a max number so let us take one more example about if suppose there are three variables uh, a b and c suppose it is a 25 so how to write condition you just write if a is greater than b and a is greater than c because now there are we need to compare a with two variables one is a b second one is a c so what to write here print so in case of print you just write a is a max same thing elif now elif is comes because we want to check one more condition one time so here we can write b is greater than c colon print b is a max and last one it is a else part and in case of else we can directly write print c is a max number so see last time it was one condition that's why we have written only if and else now there are three variables and we want to check two conditions that that's why we have written if a is greater than b and a is greater than c if it is possible then a will be max number elif b is greater than c so now b contains 20 value and c is a 25 so this condition is also not true so the flow of control is if this condition is false it comes here if this condition is false it comes here it means the condition should be false and here the condition should be true that's why it will print c is a max number so this is about if statement one more type is there in case of if statement 
which is called as a nested so nested means uh, there is a one if condition uh, then inside that if there is a one more statement or one more uh, if statement and here statement see here there is a statement so suppose there is a else part and here also it's else part so in this structure we can call it as a nested because we have written this if inside another if and this else is a part of this if statement so it is called as a nested nested means one after one the flow of control is same and the next point is about for loop so for loop means iteration suppose i want to print or i want to display this table 2 4 6 8 10 12 up to the 20 so what is the code we need to write first see what is the syntax of for loop so you need to always write for i or uh, any variable let us see first uh, syntax variable and there is a condition there is a condition and there is also colon colon means it is a compound statement so here you can write another statements or the another problems so let us see how to display this table by using for loop so here we need to write for i in range for i in range here i want to write uh, initial value so initial value will be 1 then 11 and then 1 so let us see what is this in case of last video i have explained you so this first one is called as a initial value or starting value it is called as a last value or the uh, exit of that particular loop and this is called as a number of steps we need to perform so see here so here we can write only print uh, i into 2 so i into 2 means what will be the values of uh, i so i's value starts with 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and lastly it will comes up to 10 11 indicate i is less than 11 means we need to go up till 10 number so see here so 1 into 2 it will print 2 so you see uh, i in a range 1 11 1 so first i take one value and comes here here it will print 1 into 2 so value is a 2 next it comes here and it will check or it will run it by 1 so it become 1 plus 1 so it means it is a 2 so here value comes 2 so uh, 2 into 2 it becomes 4 that means this flow of execution goes on because i contains value 1 then increment by 1 it becomes 2 then 3 then 4 and up till it goes up to the 10 and here i's value 1 into 2 2 then 2 into 2 4 uh, then 3 into 2 6 like that it will goes up to 20 so it is about for loop in case of for loop instead of this range function you can also use a list also for example suppose i have written for i in in bracket 2 3 4 5 it means now i contains value 2 3 4 5 and suppose here i just have written print i so what it print or what it uh, display it will just display 2 because i's first value is 2 once it is printed it goes or takes second value 3 and then 4 and then 5 and lastly when uh, the value will, will get close it will jump to the next part of the this particular loop so uh, in case of these values you can also take uh, string values also for example uh, for example suppose first second 
so c so now i take first value it is a first and suppose i have written print i so it will uh, print first then it goes here take second value for i and it again print value as a second it means for loop is used for numbers characters or string also so for uh, better understanding you uh, read the topic in textbook there are so many examples are given for if statement and for loop also let us see about the while loop so while it a uh, loop is also same so first suppose i have written i is equal to 1 then i can write while i is greater than 2 and condition is there so i will print here print uh, i is greater than 2 so it means it is also same for uh, i is equal to 1 while i is greater than equal to 2 and here i can also write as i equal to i plus 1 so let us see one more example in case of while same example i want to display table of 2 by using while loop then i can write while i is less than equal to 11 so how it will display and here you just write print i into 2 and here you write uh, i is equal to i plus 1 now see for loop we have written 1 11 and 1 but in case of while before while loop we need to write initial value for that particular variable so variable is i so i contains value 1 while i is less than equal to 11 or i is less than 11 then it will print i into 2 here also after while i have written this print it means print is a part of this while loop so what it will print it will print i is equal to or i into 2 and this statement i have written for increment purpose so let us see what happens first one is less than 11 yes then 1 into 2 it will print 2 then i is equal to i plus 1 so now i becomes 2 and it comes here here it will check i is less than 11 so i's value is 2 now 2 is less than 11 that's why it goes here and it will print 2 into 2 it is a 4 then i is equal to i plus 1 i becomes 3 then 3 into 2 6 then i is equal to i plus 1 4 so i becomes 4 like that 4 into 2 is a 8 and it will goes to the 20 because when i becomes 11 then this condition get false because 11 is less than 11 it is not possible that's why it directly jumps to the next line so now uh, from that you will learn that it is a conditional statement it is used for a checking condition for loop and while loops these are the looping statements or iterations which are used to perform specific task again and again so most probably a uh, for loop is used when we know about how, how many times we need to execute that loop and while loop is used for when we don't know about how much times we want to perform specific operation so most probably we are using for loop because it is a definite one and in case of while loop we can write definite code also but uh, mostly it is used for indefinite code for example suppose there is one file and we want to read that file by using programs so in that case we don't know how much uh, variables uh, how much words are there or how much statements are there there in that case we can write while i is not equal to eof so it is not part of our syllabus but in case of programming it is there eof means end of file means this loop get executed till we don't got or we don't get eof end of file like that in case of programming so many types of codes are there but for your syllabus you have just introduction about the python and uh, we have seen today if statement for loop and while loop 
if you have any doubts you, you can anytime you can ask me i will again explain it very clearly